Welcome to part 2 of my 17 deck challenge in Master Rank 1, kicking off the video with deck number 10. So if you haven't seen part 1, I'll leave the link in the description below. Round 10, we have Tri-Sprite. I am so glad I drew Maxi after they finished their whole combo. Foolish Burial first, and then I chain Droplet, and then we get rid of most of my cards to negate all of their monsters on board. One by one, we chain our grave effects, and then their last card in hand was Maxi. I guess they just wanted to win more than me. Kit sends Fractal to the grave, Nerval adds another copy of Kit to my hand, and Angler summons two beavers from our deck. Kara summons itself by sending Kit to the grave. I use its effect to banish four from our grave to link something to Shurig. I banished the set card on the right side, but it was the wrong one. Who sets Gamma Burst? Usually the middle set is Imperm, but I guess they just open with Double Cross and we just lose the game here. I haven't played Math Mech since March of last year, but it's a pretty easy deck to play. They open with Prohibition to call Ash. I'd understand it if they were on Branded, but they're on Sprite. After doing some combos, they use a second prohibition, and this time on Super Poly. These two prohibitions could have been anything, but they are just two useless cards on the field. I start with the usual, Reveal Circular to send Sigma to the grave to summon itself. They chain Elf, targeting Jet, and then I just banish Jet with Called By. Caddy bounces itself and adds Penny to their hand. Small World reveals Driver and Eccentric from my deck to add Diameter to my hand. Sigma summons itself and then they chain Mascarena to link into Avramax. Circular adds Equation to my hand, and then they Synchro into Arclight. Normal Summon Diameter, and Overlay 3 to Laplacian. Detach all 3, but then they Surrender. Round 12, we have Tier Limit. It is just my luck that I went second against Floodgate Subterrors. Skipping to where my opponent does the stupidest thing I've ever seen in Master Duel and lose to their own Floodgate. Honestly, they should just uninstall the game. Why would you ever flip Subterror Guru when you already have a dragon and you have Tikaboo online? Finally, we get to the end game and get to summon a second level 4 on the field. Shirin milled Snow and Scream. It's already over. We simply overlay into Redoer. Redoer effect sending Shirin to the grave, and then Shirin activates to fuse into Kaleido Heart. Kaleido Heart then gets rid of Final Battle by shuffling it back into their deck. Snow summons itself and sets Druid Swarm. We go into battle and hit over Druid Swarm. Druid Swarm sends our Kaleido to the grave, but we get to summon it back, and then it sends Rhino Heart to the grave. Rhino Heart summons itself, and then we send the Zillic in our hand to the grave. The Coward runs away. How do you even lose like that? Round 13, we have Twin Sprite. We went second versus Madolce without any interruptions, so the best we could do was make Sky Cavalry and then attack so we can summon a 4 material Zeus. As I attempt to clear the board, they just kept chaining stuff. I eventually got Zeus to resolve 
but then they ended up just flooding the board again and then attacking for game. Round 14, we have Zombies. Once again, we are going second versus Sprite. I start with Imperming Caddy. Then use Ogre Dance's effect to add Zayamin to my hand. Elf summons back Jet, and Jet adds Starter to their hand. I normal summon Unizombie, and they just link it away with Mascarena into Goddess. We did our best. Round 15, we have Mutants. We finally get to go first again, and I was able to summon all of the main deck mutants. But it didn't matter since they were able to open with Dark Ruler no more. Emergency Teleport to summon Zayamin from their deck. I use Mutant Cry to fusion summon into Mutant Synthesis. Synthesis pops Zayamin, and I guess they can't play with the 4 cards in their hand and they gave up. Round 16, we have Dark Magicians. Sprite was able to get their full combo off, but I will enjoy breaking apart their board. First we bait out their elf by targeting Jet with a bestial. They fall for it, and we just use the second bestial to target Jet again. Mascarena tries to link summon, but I super poly away their sprites to summon Garura. Serenir sends Lebellion to the grave, Lubellion tributes Baldrake to summon itself. I attempt to activate Lubellion, but it gets impermed. I normal Albaz, sending Rod to the grave, and fuse with Mascarena into Mirror Jade. Move to battle. They finally summon their Melfi and Synchro into Mary Melfi's. It spins back my Mirror Jade, and then I just banish it. In main 2, I link into Verte. Garura draws me one card. Verte effect sending Baronet Fusion to the grave to summon back Mirror Jade. In their main phase, they start with Dark Ruler, but it's already over and they leave. Finally, round 17 and we have Dragon Link. Sadly, they are on stun with no back row. I just normal summon Tracer, attack over the dinosaur. I use Quick Launch and use Tracer's effect to pop Quick Launch, and they just leave. What an anticlimactic finish to the challenge. We end the challenge with 11 wins and 6 losses, which translate into a 65% win rate. Parts of the challenge was really fun. But it was pretty annoying when I had to watch people combo off and I'm playing a non-meta deck. Let me know what you thought about the challenge, and which duel you enjoyed the most. I really enjoyed that tier limit game against the Floodgate Bozo. I hope you enjoyed the video, until next time.